Thank you for Metro as the chairman of the board. I felt a sense of relief because I knew that at the helm of Metro was someone who understood what this battle has always been about. As a former colleague, I look forward to continuing to work with you to try to resolve some of the critical issues uh, that face uh, minorities and terms of contracting and jobs at Metro. Uh, that said, most of you don't know uh, that I have a claim to be the old railroad man myself. When I was honorably, and I emphasize honorably, discharged from the U.S. Army after four years, seven months, 28 days, and about six hours. <laughs> I wasn't counting. Uh, my first job after my discharge was with the old v &O Railroad. I was a yard clerk. So freight transportation does have an uh, important place in my life and in my heart. We are here celebrating and the completion of a process. And this process uh, wasn't always a smooth process. As a matter of fact, there are some uh, battle scars, some bloodshed, and some real, some, some real intense uh, involvement. This process was completed with uh, appropriate most of minority participation only after three congressmen march on Metro uh, through the loop. Uh, those days were not days that we want to recall, but they are part of the history of why we're standing here. Uh, and I don't want to put on marching shoes again, getting kind of older, but I want you to know that if it takes marching to ensure that minorities get their fair share of contract and employment at Metro, then I will march on Metro again because I think that only when we march, only when we march, do we seem to get any kind of progress. Let me conclude. I am so happy now. My first person was telling me. Congressman, you're on a high note, you're on a high note. I am on a high note, but I'm also a fighter. And I just want to say here that... Bobby, hold on one second while one of our partners goes. Unimpeded. So glad to see that train just fly over this place. And I don't know what to do. But, then, <laughs> but let me uh, let me just say that, and I have to speak as the voice of my community. And we have some significant jobs in terms of the economy. Our economy, our community economy, is lagging behind the nation. And we are looking to Metro and to others uh, because these big public projects, with their federal dollars, state dollars. We're looking for each and every one of you to be fair and open to the inclusion of minorities uh, and blacks and women in these projects. We're sick and tired of having all the dust, all the dirt, all the delay, and none of the door. We're sick of that, sick and tired of that, and we want that to become uh, a fast part of, our, of the fast history of our state and our county and our metro and our local area. So I'm glad to be here with each and every one of you. I'm glad to see my senator here and others who are, I've been so engaged, my colleague Dan Lefisti, uh, who uh, uh, Dan and I have a long-term relationship. Uh, and we won't tell you what we do behind closed doors, but we have a long-term relationship. And Dan is a person who I look forward for leadership. Thank you very much and congratulations again.